Happy COVID Thanksgiving. Oh, come on, let's have fun with it. Maybe you're with your small immediate family or maybe you're on your own. How about have fun with it? Why not? You know, maybe it's time to uh, dust off the, uh, the old games that you have in the closet. You got sorry back there somewhere, probably missing one of the tokens. You know, you can pull out Scrabble or a, a card game, maybe um, a game of Risk and play it for a few days. Whatever it may be. Let's have fun with this time. Might as well. It's an unprecedented time. We're kind of isolated. Um, why not do that as a family if you haven't already? You know, uh, it, it's, it, it's a great time to do those things that maybe are not as traditional. But you know what? As we're thinking about that too, why not be a blessing to others first. God has given us so much this year. So as we're playing and having fun, you know, why not be a blessing first before we get into some negative things? For us, I'm thinking of this past year, and I, I want to think of the positive things. Like our oldest graduated from high school. It, it looked a little differently that we had a drive-through graduation, but Boy, he was able to finish well, to play his sports, to be all-state in soccer, and we're just so proud of him. We're able to celebrate with him. Our youngest turned 13 this year. We had a couple celebrations with him, and just so excited to see him. And and then uh, Becky and I are getting better looking, and we're getting younger. So, I mean, there's, there's so much to have fun and celebrate. How about you guys? Uh, can you take time today to celebrate, yes, and bless others and, and maybe turn some of those sour conversations into something fun? Um, but when I think about the, this time of year, this time of holiday, you know, we're often too busy. We're often running out of time. We're tired. We overspend, all those kinds of things. And sometimes the fun's taken out of it. Man, let's, let's regroup this year and have fun. It, it reminds me of, you know, the story with George Bailey and It's a Wonderful Life. Everybody's seen that movie. In fact, I didn't see that movie till a lot later. It was Beck, one of Becky's favorite movies. And it, it's one of those ones you, you stick in every time during the holiday time. But you know George's life. It took him to literally die, if you will, and see what his life would have been without him or the people around him if he wasn't there. And then he was able to say, God, I have just a wonderful life. What a blessing it is for my life. Um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, we read that God is able to make every blessing of yours overflow so that in every situation you will always have all you need for any good work. Uh, when we bless, sometimes we get even more, it is what um, it says in God's Word. God is in the business of blessing His kids. In fact, He gives more and more for those who give more and more. That was what that scripture would say. You can be a blessing to others simply by speaking kind words to them, sharing your things, giving away food, sharing your story with others, praying over people, or simply just listening to people. There is always an opportunity to serve or bless somebody. Consider these words of the Apostle Paul found in 1 Thessalonians 5. So encourage each other to build each other up just as you already are doing. Church, continue to do what you're doing. Have fun during this time. Bless others. Be positive in the midst of this stuff. Uh, when, when we hear of people having tough times around us, um, and especially around the holidays, can often be a time of isolation even beyond this COVID thing. People feel sad um, around their birthdays or holidays. Encourage them. Give them hope. Give them a blessing. And, and be careful not to be caught up in the things that are would tear down people or be uh, divisive. Let's give thanks today, people, and have fun today. 
Happy, happy Thanksgiving.